Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Meepolis and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are finally hitting up one of those titles I read a year or two ago, but every time I try and review it, anxiety takes over. So I requested it one last time from the library and this is going to be it. Yay! But what is this book you ask? Why Resistance to Ecocide by Stephanie McMillan, of course. One of those few books that only seems to be more right as time goes on. And we still haven't solved the environmental crisis. And it's only getting worse. A political cartoonist since high school, Stephanie McMillan is a second generation Fort Lauderdale resident whose work has been shown internationally with an archive of originals and papers at the Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Ohio State University. A multimedia artist, according to her website, McMillan offers classes with her partner, Christopher Burns. Moving along to the actual plot of the book itself, basically we follow a dynamic group of friends as they resist ecocides. Lots of direct action and black block tactics with a dash of will they sell out and or liberal versus leftist tension. What if anything will save the planet? All options are on the table. Well, I overall can appreciate the book more as time goes by, it's still one of those books where the text is dense enough to trigger my ADHD impatience with text. The whimsical elements like the pyromaniac rabbit with one eye do help to balance out the existential dread. Well, if I'm recalling correctly, we don't touch on gender ability commentary. We do see representation of several black inclusive people of color characters. Two of the guys are gay and there's lots of class tension happening throughout the story. Bye y'all, keep reading and resist white supremacy. And as always, Literally Graphic is recorded on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation. I live here because of British colonization, indigenous genocide, and more geographically specific, Treaty 13, also known as the Toronto Purchase, which was finalized in 1805 between representatives of the Crown and certain Mississauga peoples. This treaty was a lie and has since been broken many times over. Saying so reflects only my own small steps towards knowing the truth and does nothing for reconciliation.